Hi, I'm Jonas from Amak Equipment, and this is our new hammock, the Drummer Double. In this video, you'll learn all you need to know about the Drummer Double. What is it? It's a double bed suspended between two trees. Two people can sleep flat and comfortably in this portable hotel bed. It is also a flying couch with a panoramic view. So who's this hammock for? Well, couples. If you don't sleep in separate beds at home, why should you when you go camping? Families. Most kids don't like to sleep in a hammock alone outside. Here you can bring them. You can bring a book and read a nighttime story and create lasting memories. Friends. Enjoy a refreshing beverage in chair mode while you ponder life's big questions. How does it work? Well, you have two long wide sleeping pads that go into these two separate sleeping pad pockets. They create the structure for the hammock and also keep you insulated so you can sleep uh, even in winter with a good sleeping pad. The hammock has an internal suspension system with these ropes that hold up to 700 kilos. They extend down by smaller ropes and some webbing to internal panels that help lift the hammock in the middle. So that creates a flat sleeping surface for two people instead of just getting bunched up in the middle. How is the balance in this hammock? Surprisingly good. To be honest, I was quite skeptical at first, so for a lot of years I didn't pay this project a lot of attention. But these past few years we've been working very hard and made a lot of prototypes with some engineering voodoo. And now it really works. One of the benefits of having two sleeping pads in the hammock like this is that it stiffens out the whole hammock. So you get the benefit of two pads, that helps. And with the weight of another person in the hammock, it will act as a counterweight, slowing down the overall movement of the hammock. Considering the hammocks you'll find advertised and sold as double hammocks by other companies, I would uh, humbly say that this is a giant leap for mankind. What's included when you buy the Drummer Double Hammock? You get the Drummer Double Hammock with the included bug net in the corner, two super strong tree straps, you get four aluminum poles, and you get everything packed inside this neat little stuff sack. Sleeping pads are a required accessory in the Drummer Double Hammock. You need two long wide sleeping pads. We have three kinds to choose from. This is our new standard version. You can also use similar sleeping pads from other manufacturers. Tarps are optional depending on the weather. Our Shoal 10 tarp fits the hammock quite nicely. So if you have that, you are all set. How do you set up the hammock? Let's do a quick demonstration. So Steinar will join me here to help me with the double hammock. So first I'll open the bag. So one strap for you, you can hang it around that tree. One strap for me. So there are some instructions on the strap. So you can go around the tree like this and through the loop. Now, this tree here is a little bit slippery. So I will go two laps around the tree just to give some more friction. When you're in the woods, you can only do, you can do one lap, that's fine. Okay, so the straps are on the trees. You take out the hammock. So you'll find that there is a foot end of the, on the hammock with a sturdier fabric. And there is a red corner and a green corner. The red is port and green is starboard. And now the view is this way. So we wanna turn the hammock around. So that Steinar has the red corner and I have the green corner. Now you see that the foot end is where we want it, towards the view. And then we attach the buckles and you can adjust it according to the length between the trees. The buckle should be facing the tree because now it will lock. If you mount the buckle the wrong way like this, it will slide. So do not do this. The hammock is situated between the trees. It looks uh, symmetrical and nice to me. So we'll put the pads in. So the pads have the valve on top, the ones that we make anyways. We want to insert that first. We can do it one at a time. 
Now, the valve uh, goes through the hole on top, so you can also inflate and deflate the pad while it's in the hammock. So I'll close or lift the flap over the sleeping pad. And then I'll close the zipper. And then we'll put in the other sleeping pad. And now we will place the aluminum poles both in the head end and the foot end to lift the sides up a little bit. They come like this. They have an elastic cord inside and they click together like this. Place it at the bottom pole pocket. Then you do the top one. Now you'll notice that there's a little bit of tension here. So you just need to push down and bend it slightly to get it to fit into the pocket. That's to make sure it doesn't fall out once it is inside. Okay, so the hammock is ready. The pads are inside the pad pockets. The aluminum poles are mounted. The best way to enter the hammock is to hold on to the middle panels, the webbing or the rope in the middle part. You can also on the sides hold on to the, the webbing or the side panels. You do not want to grab the elastic pockets or the bottle holder, of course. So Stan and I, we will both grab this uh, backwards and we'll walk or stand rather a little bit between the trees put your head underneath the rope and then sit in the middle of the hammock and look towards the trees and the reason you should look towards the trees is just to double check that the straps are okay and that there's no problems with the, the anchor points that you choose or the tree so you lift your feet inside then you just lie back and you want to find your balance point. A lot of people tend to start a bit far down towards the, um, the foot end and then you'll slide down during the night. So just remember to grab onto something and pull yourself far enough towards the head end. Getting out of the hammock. So you do the same thing that you did when you entered, only in reverse. So grab hold of some of the side panels and lean forward. And when you feel that you start to slide, then just put your feet outside and push yourself up. With some practice, both entering and exiting the hammock will become second nature and it's a little bit like riding a bicycle. Once you get it, it's no problem. The hammock also has a chair mode, so we have adjustable straps on the sides and in the middle. They can be used to lift the knees and the back. So you can adjust your sleeping position when you're in the flat mode, but you can also turn the hammock into a recliner or a flying couch. To use the chair mode, you wanna sit up. You wanna work together for the middle panel first, and you wanna start with the knees so that you don't slide down if you do the back first. So you wanna lift your knees up. You don't wanna sit down and have a lot of weight on the panels. So raise your legs up, grab hold of the panel and the webbing. Then you lift the panel and adjust and take out the slack. Then you do the sides. So you start with the knees because then you want to slide down. If you started with your back, then you would create a downhill slope. So now you have some resistance here and you want to sit upright. You don't want to lean back because then it's a lot of force on the, the straps. So sit upright, start in the middle, lift the panel towards the, uh, the buckle and tighten the webbing. Then you do the same on the sides. And now you have a flying couch. The hammock comes with an integrated bug net. It can be detached and deployed from the port side of the hammock. You just pull it out. And the bug net has three sliders. Made easier if you lift the foot end a little bit towards you. Here you see the bug net deployed. You have a large space inside the hammock and you have a great view through the bug net. 
And the bug net material is really strong. It's made of our 20 denier monofilament fabric. So it's the same fabric that we use on the entire Drummer Ultralight hammock. And the zipper is a YKK 45 zipper. So it's quite strong. So we have uh, focused on durability when it comes to the bug net. You can also open the bug net wherever you want because of the three sliders. This way, it's easier to uh, go out at night if you want to. And you can also have a better view. You can also move the zippers to an area behind your head so you can make an opening and reach out to grab some of your stuff in a backpack. One of the great features of the Dramur hammocks is that you have a great panoramic view in front of you instead of looking at the trees that you are hanging your hammock from. You also get a lot of space inside the hammock and a lot of storage space. So for instance, if you have some shoes, you can put them in the top corners like this. If you have some clothes, you can also stuff that up there. If you have a Nalgene bottle or other kinds of water bottles, you can place that in the bottle holder on the side. If you have a jacket, you can place that between the main panel and the chair panels and it'll stay put. You also have some pockets here for a phone or smaller items. The ropes and the suspension in the middle also act as very good handholds that can help you with the stability and going into and out of the hammock. You can also attach small carabiners, a headlamp, etc. What are the specifications? The max capacity is 200 kilos. A two-person hammock requires a bit more caution compared to a single hammock. So you need stronger trees and you need to pay attention to the suspension angle. It's very important that the angle between the suspension strap and the ground is about 25 degrees on this hammock. 25 to 30 is okay. You do not want to have it super tight like this. The weight of the entire system, including the hammock, the bug net, the storage bag, the straps and two sets of aluminum poles is less than two kilograms or less than one kilogram per person. How long did it take to develop this product? The idea was sketched out more than 10 years ago, but in the last four years, we've been working really hard with samples and testing, and we could actually probably have launched a product two or maybe one year ago, but we aimed for perfection and took our time. At Amok, we focus on making heirlooms. And what do we mean by that? We mean that if you take your kid camping in this hammock, we want her to be able to inherit the product in 30 years and take her kids camping. And that requires a shift in mindset where we don't focus on short-term sales goals or fast fashion. We focus on the attention to detail, high quality materials and stitching and uh, we want to make sure that this is a lasting product so we focus on longevity and the lifetime of the product what does it cost and where can you get it compared to most regular hammocks the drummer double has maybe 50 times the stitches and 10 times the fabric patterns and the fabrics are of the highest quality making this a very expensive product for us to manufacture as a consequence if we sold this through uh, distributors and retail shops, it would be too expensive. So we decided a few years ago that we wanted to sell our products directly to you through our own website. It's a win-win. You get extreme quality at a reasonable price and we get to make the products that we love, no restraints. The price of the Drummer Double is currently 350 US dollars and it's only available at amokequipment.com. There you can also find more information use the manuals and frequently asked questions. Some final words. A lot of you guys have been waiting for a double hammock for many years. So we want to thank you for your patience. Today is your lucky day. We can't wait for your feedback. Stay wild.